Hey, Ashley. Hi, Dan. How are you? Great. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. So um, I have a couple questions here. First, we have new pets in my house, actually, a couple new kittens. Uh -huh. So how can we keep pets safe with all the added decorations and holiday parties and the hustle and bustle? Yes, this goes for kittens. This goes for puppies like this little guy. I mean, you want to keep those lights out of their reach, especially if they're, you know, on like strings or wires dangling. You want to keep them out of their reach. They're going to be curious. They're going to want to know what's going on, especially if they're seeing it for the first time. Tinsel as well can be dangerous. Avoid that. And some of those holiday plants, you know, you may think they may not chew on them, but they may. Poinsettias, uh, some of that mistletoe, the pine needles that may fall from trees. If they eat those, that could be toxic to them. So, you know, keep them out of their reach or sweep them up if they do fall. Speaking of things to sweep up, you might want to sweep up table scraps or crumbs or things that fall while you're having your holiday dinner because, again, you want to keep their little stomach safe. Awesome. And then for families that are traveling around the holidays, what pet items do you recommend for the trip and what can we not bring even though we probably think we should? Right. So, you know, keep, uh, you just want a couple, a couple of toys, not every single toy in the collection. And as far as keeping them safe, you know, the good carrier goes a long way. Make sure the carrier's in the back seat. If you're driving by car, safely secured. Traveling by air, check with your airline ahead of time. See what their restrictions are. You may need updated vaccinations, a note from your vet. Check with your airline on that and have a secondary ID, something with their photo on it, contact information, just in case you guys do get separated. Awesome. And then so for the pet parents who can't take their pets with them when traveling, what should they do with them and how can they make that easier with the separation? Uh, you know, a reliable pet sitter is going to be your best friend while you're away. If you don't have a pet sitter in mind, go to rover.com. It's a great site that can connect you with somebody who can sit your pet while you're gone. And then if you have to be away and you want to watch them, items like the Pet Cube are really terrific and they make great stocking stuffers. The Pet Cube has a wide angle lens. You can see your pet um, even at nighttime because it has night vision on it. Watch them via your smartphone, play with them via your smartphone because it has a laser pointer that you can connect to and control with your smartphone. Um, and it just really works well as far as staying somewhat connected and aware of what goes on with your pet while you're not there. As far as feeding them, the PetNet Smart Feeder will feed them at regular intervals that you program, of course, and has a backup battery and backup power and backup memory just in case uh, you know, you're out of range or the power does go out. So peace of mind in this case, huge. Yeah, that's really cool. And then kind of leads into my next question. Are there any unique gift ideas for pets or friends and relatives who have pets? Yeah, I mean, you can certainly give these guys as gifts, the ones I just mentioned, but the Wonder Wolf is a Fitbit for dogs. It's just a little, it's based a small little boat tie size electronic device that attaches to their collar and monitors their steps. It keeps track of all their activity, their activity levels. And that's a great thing to just be even more aware of where your pet's at, whether you're with them or not. Um, then you have the more traditional fun plush toys, toys, apparel, accessories from Dr. Seuss and Trolls Pet Fans Collection. Rogue One is coming out, so there's a nice Star Wars um, line of toys at Petco. The Harmony a Beds Collection is great. And uh, remember that if you do want to dress like your dog, Petco's got you covered. You got scarves matching for both you and your pet available at Petco. So there's something for everyone. That was really awesome. And then um, I know we talked earlier about the things that we can do to kind of keep our pets safe during the holidays. Yeah. So how can we spread holiday cheer with them? What can we do with our pets? Well, um, one great thing, the best way to spread holiday cheer is obviously keeping them safe because if they're happy and safe, you'll be happy. Um, but the other, the other great thing to keep in mind is your local Petco on December 10th and 17th from 1 to 4, you can get a photo with Santa. And we all know we love our kids taking pictures with Santa, and hey, why not include a pet as well? For $9.95, you'll get a photo. All the proceeds go to the Petco Foundation, which is an organization that supports uh, um, pets in need. So it's just sort of win-win, great cause, and you get a pet picture with Santa as a result. Yeah, and then, so we talked about kind of gift ideas for pets or people who already have them. Yeah. What if you're thinking about getting somebody a pet for Christmas? What's the best way to do that? Wow, to get somebody a pet for Christmas, number one, go to your local shelter, but make sure you know the person you're buying or gifting a pet to. Gifting a pet is a big responsibility. I would talk to, if not them, talk to the people around them in their family and make sure that they are ready for that responsibility because that's a big responsibility. If the answer is yes, please go to your local shelter and, uh, or rescue group and, and see what's available. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. And then for um, our last question, tell us about some of the items people and pets might want to have who live in the colder states. I'm from Kentucky, right. um, and so sometimes it's warm, but it can get pretty cold. For sure. So a little sweater like this guy's got on goes a long way. In addition to that, pet booties. Those booties will protect them from the cold. It'll help them walk around a little bit better if there's snow, and it'll protect them from some of that salt that people lay down to, to melt the ice. Uh, it's usually not pet safe ice melt. Uh, so, you know, you got to protect their little paws. So booties help too. Awesome. I never even thought about that. Well, thanks so much for talking to us today, Dan. Thanks. Happy holidays. You too.